Geeks. I don't, what the hell was that? That was like some Power Rangers crap. Super 2 Tiger. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm a weirdo. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this Colossal Titan body paint. Now, I've done a few Colossal Titan looks. Um, if you're not familiar with my other channel, I have another YouTube channel called I Wanted to See One Video, and I do lots of body painting on there. And over the past, like, two years, I've done three Colossal Titan paintings. This one, hands down, is my favorite. I mean, I'm never going to look like him in terms of like muscular like him but it's still pretty cool and if you painted this on a really muscular person i'm sure they look really badass so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like it please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel so you'll be notified every single time i upload with that being said let's begin to start this look off i take a glue stick and i apply that right over my eyebrows this is going to help my eyebrow hairs lie flat so that i can apply makeup onto it to cover up the brows now you're gonna mix together a very light beige pinkish color and you're gonna use that to start painting the areas that look like bones. They're not bones, it's all muscle fibers but it's easier to say bones because it looks a little bit more like bones than how a regular human's muscle anatomy looks. Well I started to paint on all the bone areas, again I'm gonna call it bones even though it is a bones. I decided I wanted to use a concealer to cover up my brows. At first I was just going to rely on face paint to do that, but once I applied the face paint over the glue, it just wasn't enough coverage. So I just applied a skin tone concealer over my eyebrows and then I applied the body paint over the concealer and it worked perfectly. If you're doing a body paint, remember you're going to have to bring that paint down onto the body. Also the color that I used over in this area, it's not necessarily perfect to the color that Colossal Titan has in the manga, but I didn't really want to go based off of that color just because it's a little too pink for me and I thought it looked a little bit funny. So I just decided to go with a color that's a little bit more beige than it is pink. You don't even have to go with a color like this. You could use a white paint if you wanted to or just a regular beige color or even a skin toned color. You're then going to mix together a dark red color. I just mixed together a red and black paint to create the color I needed. And you're going to use it to paint just the side of the face but the top portion of it where there's muscle fibers showing. And then you're going to use it to paint the temples and outline the bone area. And like I said, it's not bones but I'm saying bones because it makes it much more easier to explain. You're just going to outline the bone area that's on the body. Only painting part of the area that is on the side of the face with that dark red color because you want to add some dimension over there. So after you've painted these areas with the dark red you're gonna take like a basic red I'm using Mayron's beach berry red just because it's a little bit lighter than my Mayron red paint and I'm using that to paint the body just the body not any areas that are on the face the areas on the face that still need to be painted red I mix together a pink color and paint those areas and that's gonna create the depth that we need on the side of the face as well as below the eyes and the mouth because you want depth there because it looks like the bones, quote unquote bones, are protruding from the face and then the muscle fibers are lying, are lying, lying bony areas. Even though, like I said, it's all pretty much muscle fibers, but it does look that way. Use this color to outline the teeth and if you plan on painting on eyes, you want to make sure you use the color to outline the eye. Then use a black paint and use that to create a line that goes directly between your lips and then you extend it out to the portion where the teeth are on the side of the face. You can then use that paint to outline the teeth and then just fill the teeth in with a white paint. As usual, every single product I use will be listed down below as well as the brushes that I used. I then move on to the eyes. I use my black paint to outline the eyes and to paint on the iris and then to start shading where the pupil would be. And then I mix together a blue color that I used to paint the bottom part of the eye, so the iris of the eye. And then I use a white paint to paint the whites of the eyes and to create just little shiny marks inside of the eyes. This adds a lot of nice detailing in this area. I then go back with the black paint and use it to outline every single area where the red part 
is showing. So any area where there's muscle fiber showing, I outline those areas. And then I also create wrinkles around the nose, around the forehead, and the inner corner of the eyebrows to give it the angry expression that I needed. And while painting all these things on, I decided that I wanted to use a darker red, one that was darker than the darkest red I had already used, and I used that to start painting on some of the muscle fiber lines. I don't even know what it call, like it's actually called, but all the lines that are in the muscle fibers, I start using this color to paint them on. Initially, I didn't want to use just black. I wanted there to be three different tones. I wanted there to be some black lines, some dark red lines, and then some lighter red lines. So right now, I'm just placing the darker red lines, and I'm also using it to dif differentiate between the two areas of muscle fibers that are on the side of the face. So I did a lot of switching between the two paints. I would use the black paint to do something and then I would just go back with the red paint. You want to mainly use the black paint to outline every single area that is red near the bony areas. Like I said, even though it's not bones. I'm going to keep saying that because I know somebody out there is just not going to pay attention to the video and then only hear me say bones and then they're going to be like, those aren't bones. But then at the same time, it's a little bit confusing when you think about it just because those areas do protrude from where the red part of the muscle fibers are. Like they are lying on top of it. And then where the skull would be, I mean, it's the same color as those areas. So then it makes you think, well, is it bone? But it ain't. It's pure muscle, baby. At least, that's what I think. After I did that, I started to paint all the muscle fibers on the body. But to paint the ones on the body, I used mainly black paint. This was definitely my favorite part to paint, just because you can use the black paint to really make your muscles stand out. Everybody has muscles. It's just a matter of, are they actually showing? You know what I mean? Like, are you working out? It ain't gonna show if you don't work out but my point is with the black paint you can make yourself look more muscular than you actually are i'm scrawny i'm scrawny as hell but with the black paint i made myself look a little bit more muscular just by really defining the areas where my muscles would be popping out and just using the black paint to outline those areas and then to create the muscle fibers on top of it make sure you use a reference picture while you're doing this you'll know exactly how you want to paint these fibers on um, and I'll link the one I used down below. Usually when I try to find an image, I Google image what it is I'm looking for and then I sort it so that it's only large files that I could see so I can see really detailed pictures. Time to start shading. You're going to take a black eyeshadow and you're going to use it to shade around the eyes and shade around every single area where the red part of the muscle fibers is showing on the face so where the outline is this is going to help the beige area look more lifted than the red area it's going to push the red areas back and that's what you want to do make sure every single area that you do shade like you use the eyeshadow to outline and shade you fade that eyeshadow going toward the center of each individual area so it creates that shadow that you need to make the beige area look more lifted to help differentiate the two areas that are on the side of the face where there is a darker red and lighter red you just apply that eyeshadow right between both colors and it'll help you um, or the eye differentiate between those two layers. Make sure you do lots of shading on the body as well. Very important for this look. And I mean, honestly, shading takes the entire look to another level. The final thing you do is take your beige or ivory paint and you use that to create lighter color muscle fibers anywhere where there is red or pink paint. So that includes the body, below the eyes, um, around the mouth, the chin, the side of the face, the temples. This is gonna add a lot of texture here and create a lot of dimension, which is something that we want. We don't want this to be so flat where you can't really see the muscle fiber textures and the shading. You just don't want that. You want there to be shades and highlights and your mid-tones and all the good stuff that comes when you do art, like body painting and coloring and all that type of stuff. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Bethany, I love hot wings, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, bye.